hypothetical wonderland, learning, would, and could. Hello learners! Today, we're diving into the realm of imagination with hypothetical questions. Hypothetical questions are incredibly important in conversational English because they allow us to explore different possibilities and scenarios. Today, we're specifically focusing on how to form these questions using would and could. So, let's jump right in. First, we'll discuss the word would. Would is a modal verb used in English to talk about actions or events that are not certain to happen, often because they are dependent on particular conditions. When we're asking hypothetical questions with would, we're usually imagining a situation and wondering what the other person's choice or response might be in that situation. Here's an example. Would you like some tea? In this sentence, would is used to politely offer tea. This is a hypothetical situation because the tea hasn't been made yet, and you're asking if the other person would want some if it were to be made. Next up is could. Could is also a modal verb used to discuss possible scenarios that might or might not occur. It's often used to inquire about the capability or possibility of something happening. For example, could you help me with this? Here, could is used to politely ask for help. This is hypothetical because the assistance has not been given yet, and you're asking if the other person could provide it if you were to need it. Now that we understand would and could, let's look at how we can form hypothetical questions with them. The general structure for hypothetical questions is question word plus would could plus subject plus verb. Some examples include 1. What would you do if you won the lottery? 2. Where could we go for vacation? In the first question, would helps us imagine a hypothetical scenario, winning the lottery, and we're asking about the other person's response in that situation. In the second, could, allows us to consider various possibilities for vacation spots. Remember, when using would and could, we're dealing with hypotheticals, which means the events have not happened but are potential situations or actions we can discuss. And that's a wrap. Today, we've learned about forming hypothetical questions using would and could. These two little words can open up a world of possibilities in your conversations, helping you explore everything from imaginary situations to potential future actions. Keep practicing, and soon forming hypothetical questions will feel like second nature. See you in our next lesson.